unit 4D, normal distribution, the empirical rule. If we take any normal distribution and mark off from the mean intervals of one standard deviation in each direction. So this particular point here would be one standard deviation above the mean, the mean plus sigma. This point is two standard deviations of, above the mean, mu plus two sigma, and this point would represent a score three standard deviations above the mean. In the other direction, this score is one standard deviation below the mean, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations below the mean. If we do that, then the areas in, of those intervals, the areas under the curve, are going to be always the same percents. This area from the mean to one standard deviation above the mean is always 34%. The area between one standard deviation and two standard deviations above the mean is 13.5%. Between two and three standard deviations, about 2%. And the area of this tail above three standard deviations from the mean is very small, maybe one-tenth of one percent approximately. All these numbers are approximate, by the way. Now, because of symmetry, on the left side of the curve, you would have the same, the same areas. We should memorize these numbers. 34 percent, 13.5 percent, two, and a very tiny amount for the tail. Assume that the heights of Danish men are normally distributed with mean of 70 inches and standard deviation of 3 inches. What percent of Danish men are A, between 64 and 76 inches, B, taller than 67 inches, C, shorter than 64 inches? Now, when you see a problem and it tells you that you have a normal distribution, the first thing you should do is make a picture of the bell curve. Put in the mean, which is 70 in this case, and the standard deviation, which is 3. Now mark off three ticks on either side, each interval representing one standard deviation from the mean. So this uh, first tick would be 70 plus 3, or 73 inches. Add 3 more inches, 76, and add 3 more inches, 79 inches. Below the mean, one standard deviation would be 70 minus 3, or 67 inches. Subtract 3, 64 inches. Subtract, subtract 3, 61 inches. So there are your raw scores. Now, we're going to divide the curve up into pieces. And for any normal distribution, we know the areas of these pieces. This is always 34%, roughly, 13.5%, 2% and tiny. 34, 13.5, 2% and tiny. We can use this picture. This is the empirical rule. We can use this picture to help us solve this problem. A, what percent, percent to us means area, percent, probability, area, those words should be associated when you're doing these types of problems. What percent uh, of the Danish men are between 64 and 76 inches? Well, in this picture, 64 is here, 76 is here. Between would mean the men in this interval. 
Well, we know that these are the percents under the curve. So therefore, to find the percent in the interval from 64 to 76, we would just add these numbers. 13.5, another 13.5, 34 and 34. Well, if you add those together, you're going to get uh, 95%, approximately. These numbers are approximate. So approximately 95% of Danish men are between uh, 64 and 76 inches. That's 5 foot 4 and 6 foot 4. Part B, what percent of the Danish men are taller than 67 inches? We're looking for a percent. We're look, that means we're looking for an area. The area taller than or above 67 inches. We want this area. Well, one way to do it would be to take 34%, 34%, Two, and the tiny, tiny over here we could forget. That's negligible, and we could add these uh, all together and get uh, 0.5. And uh, here we have eight, ten, thirteen, and it looks like 83.5 percent. Or another way to do it is to realize that this area right here is 34%. This area is half of the area under the curve, or 50%. And then add 34% and 50%, and that gives 84%. So these numbers are all approximate. So the percent of the men that are taller than 67 inches would be 84%. What percent of the Danish men are shorter than 64 inches? There's 64 inches. Shorter than means less than 64 inches. So we're looking for the area of this uh, left tail. Well, the area of the left tail is 2%. And this little piece here is tiny. So we can ignore that. So the percent of Danish men that are shorter than 64 inches would be about 2%, roughly 2%. End of unit 4D.